stop blocker. Players will pump fake you and try to get you up in the air. As Bucklaw picks up that foul. On the other end, was a very quick shot there by Wesley Gonzalez. Didn't really have much help down there when he took that shot. We'll turn you back down at courtside. Uh, Gino has a report. Gino? The defending champions don't want to waste their big win versus Talking Tex in their last assignment. Head coach George Gallen said they want to sustain their momentum entering this match with Air 21. For this game, the Leomados need to control the boards, stop the Air 21 transition game, set their tempo and offense, and don't go uncontrolled against the express defense. Last thing that coach George said was that he keeps on reminding his boys that Rafi Rivas, Mark Pingris, and Kirby Raimundo are out, that they, they should not wait for them. If they manage to do all these things, Coach George believes they can get their first winning streak of the season. How and Coach Norman? Thank you, Gino. So, Coach George Gallant, uh, just some pointers uh, for his, his team and his squad. Wesley Gonzalez. Nice move. Sidestepping into the lane. The big man's move there by Wesley <laughs> Gonzalez. Even asking for the foul. 20 to 11. Air 21 uh, in control here. They're up by 9. Outside shot. Nope. The Air 21 team really pushing the ball up the court in this ball game. Rabba Alusaini drop step. A bit short. Referees uh, will not make a, a definite decision here. So they'll go for the jump ball. Well, when they don't agree, that's the best option they have. That was a good move there by Rabbi Al Husseini. He just shot it a little bit off the rim. 452 will jump it up at center court. And a loose ball foul called on Al Husseini. I really don't understand this call. Both players are jumping up in the air. I mean, at the very least, it should have been another jump ball, but the referee is going to give. Uh, did he give Al Husseini a foul? Yes, they did. And Coach Yang Giao, not too happy on the sidelines. I can understand why. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas Villanueva, double, uh, using the double screen now. James Yap, still. Uh, being watched very closely by Wesley Gonzalez. He has not found the mark in this ballgame. Villanueva, 15-footer. That's good defense there by the Air 21 team. Really challenging all shots. Inside look to Raba. And the big man will troop to the line for two. And that's always been one of Rabbi's strengths, the fact that he can run the floor. He can get down the floor very quickly for a big man. Rabba Luseni picked uh, second overall in the draft. Played his uh, high school ball at, uh, with the PCU uh, Dolphins before transferring uh, to Ateneo for college. Uh, an MVP in the UAAP. And now taking his game here to the PBA. Time down to 4-12 here in the first quarter. Double-digit advantage for Air 21. Jump shot, John Dunn's... Uh, A double foul being called. And that's going to be a third personal on Noy Baklao, so they may send him to the bench. Yes, it is. Baklao will pick up foul number three. Early foul trouble for uh, Nolan Baklao. We're going to have a jump ball at center court. This has been a very good start for Air 21. They've been able to push the basketball for a while. B-Meg went into a... B-Meg Derby Ace went into a zone defense, and Air 21 was able to knock down a few outside shots. So Gako, Gako and uh, Nonoy were going to jump it up, but uh, we have a substitution. Bakla will, will take a rest here with three personal fouls. Ball is live. DJ Simon. The referee will give him two free throws. 
Wesley uh, will be called for the foul. There are very few things that really make coaches really upset. One would be giving up a layup off of a jump ball situation. Normally, most of the time, you'll have your backcourt covered. Well, Simon uh, got the first step uh, towards the basket. He'll be rewarded here with two free throws. Defensive minded here today, PJ Simon already with 11 points. Air 21, setting it up. Wesley Gonzalez escaping at the baseline area. Well, you mentioned earlier the fact that Wesley's probably having his best year in the PBA so far, and you know, he's bounced around the league quite a bit, but he seems to have found a home here with Coach Jane Gao. Traveling. Traveling, yes. On Salvador. Jer Kenyahan uh, was taking him on that last play. Twenty three to thirteen. Still in the first. Alusaini handoff to Gonzalez. Wesley now. To Raba. Raba. Be called for uh, too many steps. Well, sometimes players don't realize when they're already close enough, and they want to get just an inch closer, <laughs> <laughs> and that causes the turnover. Simon leading the defense. Now Salvador. Bime going to this uh, post-up play. Salvador is way off the mark. Gajo. Let's see who they give this foul to. Looks like it's going to go against uh, a Winnie Arboleda. They call it an um Arboleda underneath. And uh, this time, the Express will call for time with uh, 2.50 to play in the first. Wesley Gonzalez uh, getting into the scoring act here in this first quarter. Already in double digits with 10. Time for our Explode Energy Drink Animal Salakas play of the quarter. With a nice move, pretty move. Drop stepping uh, inside and getting the two points. Well, Wesley Gonzalez is averaging 10 points a game, so he's already reached his uh, average. So he, he took up... Uh, the scoring uh, slack in the first quarter as uh, Ron J. Buenafe who usually leads this team in offense uh, still quiet offensively Gako second free throw he'll split his charities Arboleda and Villanueva have been matched up since uh, tip-off at the point card slot. Alusaini asking for that basketball. Here's Raba. Inching closer, ball is tapped away and Salvador will be called for the contact. Well, he looks surprised at the call, but that was an obvious foul there as he reached in from behind. I always felt that it would be better for Raba to get the ball on the left side of the floor instead of the right because he's a better player from there he has a pretty effective uh, jump hook Buenafe stepping back for the jumper and just stepping on the line so that they'll give him two points for that turnover lead pass now to Ronje on the run Buenafe with the pass, nice pass. And you can see how aggressive Air 21 is as far as their pick and roll defense. They're really stepping out hard, showing hard, trapping sometimes, forcing the turnovers against the b team. So George Callis uh, calling a 30-second timeout. And this timeout brought to you by Handy Fix. On first aid on Bahay Mo. Bonds all, seals all. Handy Fix and 
the defense of Air 21, uh, Coach Norman, really getting them easy points on the other end for this quarter. That's really where Air 21 really needs to improve. They've always had good offense under Coach Yangao, but even before Coach Yangao joined the team, Air 21 was known as a running team, an offensive team. But now they've been able to improve their defense. We take a look at this uh, play earlier. Andre Buenafe getting some help, finding a teammate underneath. And the problem there for the b Bank Derby Aces, the fact that was a three-on-one fast break as only one of their players came back on defense. Llamados, they've been uh, stuck at 14 points. Rico Meyerhofer with the extra possession. Villanueva. Yeah, good hands there by Kanahan, knocking the ball back out of bounds. And you can see basically how the BMEG Derby Ace team struggled because they don't hit their outside shots. James Yap did not really produce much when he was on the court, unlike in their last game when they were just red hot from the three-point line against the Talking Tech team. Roger Yap will try Isla. Still no go. Look at the Express pushing the ball up the court. Now Roger Buenafe. Oh, faking everybody except Gako. And sometimes it's better just to go straight to retro Nalanda, right? <laughs> Uh, he allowed the defense to catch up with him that time, and he got his shot blocked. Arboleda. Inyahan taking his time in the lane. Shot clock reads seven seconds. Outside, Inyahan. Nothing there from the Express. Look at Jonas uh, weaving inside the lane. He'll get his own rebound and then a hurried shot from outside. One more try for Bimeg. Here's Kako. That's an obvious foul there by Kanahan as he reached down for the basketball. And that last play, Air 21 was caught leaking out before they were able to get the rebound. That's why they gave up two offensive rebounds on the play. Jerwin Gakko has been uh, very active underneath for B Meg. And Gakko is another one of those feel good stories who basically has bounced around for a while in the minors, whether it be the PBL or some of the other leagues and the ABL. Uh -huh. And finally is getting his chance here in the PBA. One of those uh, hard nosed players. Uh, Perseverance. Right now, yeah. Stay at it, right? Yep. Raba, watched by Aliado. Yan, oh, quick move. Birdie shot, it's just a bit too much. So the Baker's dozen lead for Air 21. Oh, time is. Running down, Roger Yap just in the nick of time. The German Gako. So the Yamadas will end the quarter on a high note despite being down here 27 to 16, but they get the deuce. As uh, Air 21 still on top, Wesley Gonzalez uh, scoring well, very well in the first quarter. PJ Simon was his counterpart. For BMEG. Right now, it's Air 21 on top, 27 to 16. Abal Saini getting some uh, words there from assistant coach Sandy Aras Pacochaga. <laughs> and, uh, I, wonder, I wonder what he's saying. <laughs> uh, and this is earlier on. Of course, it's no secret that uh, you had a, a, love, a, a, a nice love, uh, should I say love-hate affair with Rafa during your college days. It was days a love there, affair. Come on. <laughs> Don't kiss and tell. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, he was under you for five years, so... Well, we had a few run-ins, but <laughs> in the end, he ended up the most valuable player of the UAP in the championship.